in a nutshell, become aware of the I am and realize that what you are is beyond the I am. It's even deeper. I am. Everything inside the I am will let go of you. That program. Where of the I am, all appearances as their root, higher manifestation, accessible as your sense of I, that foundational, ever-present me, or I am. Then after sufficient amount of time, observing that, concentrating on it, becoming clearer on it, letting it fill you with understanding and bliss and a sense of oneness over time, seeing that all things belong to the I am, everything that's experiential, experienceable, belongs to the experiencer of those experiences, which is the I am. So the whole universe, which is experience, belongs to the experiencer, which is the I am. And observing the I am, begin to stand apart from the I am and realize that there's something even older than God. Stay in that, at that threshold. Allow it to set you free, suck you in, if you will. Step program. Enough to practice for a lifetime. Steps. But what's a really helpful meditation I've found anyway, especially when you're interacting with the world, let's say you're by yourself in meditation, you can really turn your attention away from the world, away from interacting with form, and go focus only on awareness, being aware of its own self-existence. Boom. Right? Because you don't have to do anything. You don't have to answer to anybody. You don't have to have any conversations or pay attention to traffic or whatever. So... I don't recommend you do that type of exclusive practice while you're driving a car or operating machinery or over time they'll become easier naturally as it as you get used to it but but I don't recommend that so what, but what you can do while you're walking around and you're driving your car and you can become aware of how everything is happening inside of the eye you can almost visualize the I am as something that's not quite over here, but almost as if it's sort of this metaphysical camera that's floating above your entire experience the whole time. And everything is a projection belonging to that sort of projector or camera, however you want to visualize that. So it's like the I, which is conscious, the I exists, which is conscious, is aware of the whole scenery as if from somewhere over there, somewhere from the space. So your feelings, your bodies are happening to that I am. Other people walking around and someone shouting and loud noise or whatever it is. It's happening. It's being registered by that I am. Give everything to that I am and you almost feel as if it's not, it's not located in the body. You kind of begin to imagine it as if it's in outer space or just here above your body. And that your body too is part of the entire canvas that is being projected inside of that I am. The root of which you just visualize somewhere, kind of like a receiver point, a root point, a camera point. So usually you feel like you're located here. So you project, you actually project this feeling of I inside your heart or inside your head or wherever you may feel that, or just your body as a whole. You do this all the time on automatic pilot. Why? Because your perception is set up in such a way that your sense perceptions give you the sense that you're located at the center point where all these senses come together. And obviously if I turn my head like this, the world seems to turn from this point of view. So as we grow older, like one year old, two years old, three years old, and bump my foot into an object and I feel it over here then I look to the right everything seems to change in accordance from this point of view so you then begin to automatically project that consciousness is here so this is the old way of looking at yourself like that or maybe maybe you got into spirituality and incense and now you see the world from the heart to counteract that habit, which is all it is, it's conditioning. Picture something over here. Or I am consciousness. Again, don't get hung up on the words because it's not about the words. They're just tools 
the bridges. Anytime you get confused about the words, drop the words and remember this. That which I am or feel I am, before I use any words, before any words, I already know that I am. That direct experience is what any of these words point to and that's what it's about it's not about the right using the right words so whatever word for you helps you connect to that pre-verbal pre-thought state of I am state of being right so this then is the dreamer this is the root of the dream all of this is happening here maybe you have a state of being that you're feeling certain frequency whatever it is everything you experience happens to the experiencer so you projected or you imagine that it's somewhere in outer space and that this whole world is happening there so while you're walking around interacting with people or seeing things happen anything senses you just experience it as if it's happening to the i am including your body so you've in a sense disowned disidentified or disidentified the i from the body and now you start to experience a certain spaciousness of freedom. So this both has the effect of loosening up the habit or conditioning of feeling like you're inside the body. But it also loosens up your association with the I am itself, ironically. So it's a bit of a double practice. It also reinforces this. So from this, now you're projecting it over here, inclusive of your body. Because again, remember the painter that always paints himself in the picture? You cannot distinguish. You cannot say the painting is only that body and the rest of the painting is not the painting. Same with the body. It's part of the whole experience, right? So anything here is equal. It's an equal amount of you or not you. But this body is equally you as this tree is equally you because it's all happening within the same canvas you can't separate one element out of the painting and call that you and call the rest of the painting not you i mean you could do that that's what you've been doing so clearly it's possible it's what we've been taught but this is a way to generate a sense of oneness a sense of distance or spaciousness or disidentification from the focal point of the body and loc location makes you more aware of a sense of locationless isness or I exist locationless pure existence and you generate a sense of inseparability you begin to feel how the whole world is actually existing in here because of the locationless I am so it's the I am that's responsible for the whole world if you project this out of your body it has all these benefits and as a result because you're generating the sense that it's not in your body but you put it out there in space, observing inclusive of this whole scenery. You're also beginning the process of seeing that you're not that consciousness. You create a distance there too. And in that distance, in this distance, somewhere in the space, the intuitive sense of the absolute begins to dawn on you. And then whoop, when you really penetrate have a penetrative experience. That's when everything disappears and you realize that there's only one complete, infinite, perfect me. This is me. This is the me before the I or before the I am. This is me before the God. So that means that while you're walking, you have to, con you can start with some kind of a mantra, but continuously repeat the feeling that all of this is happening inside of something else. It's being observed by this camera. It's almost like you're, it's like you're part of the actor in a movie and you know that the end, in the end result, it's all happening inside the camera and the viewers are gonna watch the whole scenery on one simple two-dimensional screen. So that screen is ex it's inclusive of your entire world. Your entire world is actually captured by, is actually existing only holographically as an illusion inside of the screen of the I am. So just play with this. I mean, you ha you're creative naturally by nature, so you can play with this. Give everything to that. And you'll notice 
there's things that you want to separate out that suddenly like claim that something belongs to you. Maybe a trigger happens. Maybe you feel triggered by something. And you collapse back into the sense of whoop, consciousness is inside of here and I'm inside of a world then generating this feeling of separation of, of me. Now the absolute because this is so active with imagery and experience, it forgets that it is apart from the I am. And not only does it forget that, it also forgets the stability, the eternal presence of I am. And it completely identifies with just a small portion of the canvas of its own painting. So it's completely in its own delusion. And it has this feeling of limitation. So the triggers happen, and you believe this has to do with me, and there's something outside myself which can affect me or triggers me. This solves all that.